Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another tour of Japan video here on YouTube. Uh, I am doing Iwate Prefecture today uh, in the North Tohoku region of Japan. Uh, it's a very interesting prefecture, uh, so we will definitely be enjoying our sightseeing. Uh, but well, yeah, so let's not make you wait too long. Let's just jump right in. Four minute timer as always and allowed to move. So... Probably the niftiest thing I know about Iwate is it was kind of like the gold rush area of Japan a while. 29, we should remember that, 29. Um, uh, because it had lots of, of natural resources, gold, iron, coal, uh, a couple some other metals. Uh, so, it, but that was a while ago, so it's kind of... Uh, return to more of a, a fishing and agricultural kind of setup. Ooh, that was a just a light, a different color sign. So I just had to double check, and we were in the mountains, which makes sense. Yama something, Mayaki. So here's Iwate. In the mountains. The problem is uh, Iwate is a very mountainous prefecture, while the some of the prefectures we've been in before have simply had mountainous regions. A lot of Iwate is uh, is mountainous, uh, and it shouldn't surprise you then that it has a very rich mining history. Uh, so this is not going to help us too much. We're going to need a major sign here. What does this say? Changing tires. Okay. One of, one of the major mountains. So, um, yeah, Iwate has a, a very long coastline, as most prefectures do, uh, but it's well known as being not very consumer friendly in the sense that it, it's very steep and rocky. It's not exactly nice, soft, sandy beaches that are nice to go sit on. So, uh, not exactly your, the location of choice for many tourists, at least for beach matters. There we go. Uh, Kuji and Murai. Well, Kuji's way up here. Kind of heading north somewhere. Oh, there's 29. Okay, we found the road we're on. We're winding around through some stuff. I didn't see any turnoffs or any other road names. Murai is also close by. I don't see that city on there. I'm looking for, why do we not see the other Asakozawa? They're probably too small. to use it whether or not we've come from somewhere pretty far away or if we're close because the 29 goes all the way in here so we could be somewhere in here uh, but not really sure we have quite a few turnoffs coming up we haven't seen any tunnels. I have a feeling we're kind of back here, maybe. Actually closer where we had us the first time around here uh, but still not too bad we found the right road uh, not a whole lot of help in terms of street names or signs we could have used to help us pinpoint too much other than judging our curves better but we just didn't have enough time at least I don't have enough time uh, for that I think the definitely the big thing there was we found the sign for Kuji which let us know we should look around here and sure enough we found the road so 
Not bad, not bad. Yeah, and another mountainous road, which definitely makes sense. I'm gonna head south. See if we can't find a similar sign as the last one. But Oh, because Iwate is very mountainous, I think it's one of the most active volcanic regions in Japan. Uh, so as we pass a road sign, 15. Uh, does that something, say something else on there? Not that I can really read. It might be a town or a region but at the bottom, but I don't know. So 15. Shouldn't really be looking for it. We should be spending our time traveling. Oh yeah, because it's so volcanically active, it is very good spot for onsen, hot springs. Um, why is 20 kilometers? There's a town name that starts with the kanji, that ends with the kanji the prefecture starts in. That must be it. It must be Kumu, Kuzu, Kuzumaki. Oh, and there's 15, all right. We're heading south, which makes sense. Oh, there's the road. Yes, that's the road name. Very nice. Oh, and there's a river. Do we know what river this is? We probably do. Aokari Ao Bridge. Oh, let's see how many times we cross the bridge. I don't see any buildings close by. There's plenty of bridges though, and this thing is a long road. Gonna continue to go south. Ah, Ichi no Hei Town. Interesting. We're going south. The fifteen kind of disappears. I'm really afraid it's going to start up somewhere again. I hate when they do that. How far down does Iwate go? Well, we saw it had 20 kilometers from this city, so... Oh, there's that town. Okay, so we went south, and we entered into it. We found the... if you head north, you f go head into the city. We're actually probably closer to here. Community center. Okay, there's the river. Okay, oh, so if we head south, we go into that town. If we head north, we head into that town. So if we head south, we go into you. We were largely going south, right? So we were way into here. There we go. I didn't see any stores though. That's the weird thing. Oh, that was where we were. I moved us last second. That wasn't shouldn't have done that. Oh, that was a good sign. We found that that was the perfect thing. We did find where that dotted border was. And I was correct that that was the town border, and we should move backwards from there, so very nice. 4,706. Not too bad, not too bad. So we get into round number three, another mountainous road, as we should expect. We see a sign that just tells us there's a curve ahead. Doesn't help. Oops. There was a good sign there somewhere. 44, we know that we can read these things at the bottom. Ah, the 45 is two kilometers away to the south. So we need to look for the 45. 
There's the 45. Now we need to find the 44. 41. 40, maybe it's further south then. I don't see it. I see 38. Forty-one. There's forty. These are way up here. There's forty-four. Two kilometers to the south, we hit it. We hit the forty-five. We must be over here. Unless the forty-four winds its way all the way back again. Ah, it does. Crosses it at two different locations. Okay. Let's see if we can't reach that... that spot. Oh, there's a tunnel. Oh... Oh, something tunnel. That must be the coast right there, then. Nope. <laughs> Other way. Not quite. So we're not near the coast, otherwise we would have been able to maybe see it, but... Here we go. This is what we need, the towns. Okay. Um, Kita Yamazaki. Kuji. And Miyako. So we are... That doesn't help us too much. You know there's a tunnel close to where they meet. There's no... Oh, there's a tunnel right there, but we haven't gone across it yet. There's a tunnel. What tunnel is this? Is it going to give me the name? Yep. Undai, but that's not it. Um, is it one of these tunnels? No, not that one. I think that's it, because we should only be about two kilometers away from the 45. And there's no tunnels. That's it, that's it, that's the tunnel we went through. Woo, we were going this way. Okay, that's why we're not by the coast, because we're not there. That's a good hint. Um, how far up did we start? We did have a big bridge, didn't we? Oh, we were way over there. We were really close. We were closer to the tunnel than I thought we were. Oh, but 4-7 again. Not bad. Not bad. It's a good thing we started checking those tunnels because that was that proved to be what really helped us pinpoint our location there, so... Yeah, not bad for another round. Into round number four. Uh, let's see, another country road. So as we start clicking, let's see if I can look at my notes. Anything else interesting about Iwate that I've discovered? Um... Oh, yes. Um, maybe not for you animal lovers, but Iwate traditionally is the home to most of Japanese whaling and... Uh, dolphin catching. Uh, Ku something center. That's a Ku marker, which means we have to be maybe near a big city. It's not too many small cities have. We got off the main road there somehow. It's the car we were on go. Looking for signs. So yeah, about half of Japanese whaling 
was done from ports in Iwate Prefecture. Okay, something ta something with... Is that a bridge? I don't know what that is. Looks like the paint has come off of it rather than it's actually a water marker. Major intersection, that's what we need. And now we don't need to have jumped all the way back over here. Here we go. Okay, uh, 46 to Akita Oshuku Spa, 172. So we're, we're going somewhere. Crosses prefectural borders here. Um, we've seen the other cities. Yokote, I think I've seen before. No. Maybe not. Yokote. Oh, there it is. It is in a different prefecture. lucky and just see 170, 179, 174, 172. No, no 172. Let's see how it is. Um, Sawauchi. Let's see any of these things. Um, or there might be more signs. Might be more signs going the other direction. There's a way, okay. I don't know how to read all of those, but maybe try to commit some of those signs to memory. Ah, Morioka. Where's Morioka? I saw it. There it is, Morioka. To the east. Seventy-two. We're right on the border somewhere. One seventy-two. I hate how we can't see them. We were way up there. It wasn't anywhere close to the other 170-somethings. I don't thank you, Japan. <laughs> Not always the, the nicest thing with their numbering. Another bad round. Four, well, three very decent rounds, and then one round that's just a, in the trash. Uh, we were very close to the... We would have seen the one that might have even helped us but yeah it just kind of gets buried in the city but we, we did see all of this so maybe we should have moved us a bit north but i don't know maybe just travel more so uh but for those of you who aren't really uh into all that uh traditional japanese whaling and uh dolphin fishing um it is dying off in general anyways uh it's not as popular as it used to be but um for the 2011 tsunami and earthquake that happened in the tohoku region um really devastated this entire coastline so we'll see it in a few of these prefectures coming up, but Iwate is one of the first ones we'll take a look at. Um, Ushizawa. Hachi. So that's Aomori. Oh, there it is. Hachi. Hachimantai City. We're right around here again. Ushizawa. You see Hoshizawa anywhere? We're back in there, really? 
Ah, the town is very spread out. I see. Okay, so we need a road number for sure, but we have an area. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, a lot of their, almost their entire fishing fleet of uh, these small towns along the coast were entirely destroyed. Um, so, really tough. If we head south, we head into Morioka, but we already know that. We're on 282, which is really good. There's 282. Pretty north south, so I'd put us somewhere in there. Uh, if you could find another indication of a city. A minute and a half left. Happy table land. Oh, Hirosaki Kazuno. Hirosaki. Kazuno. Hirosaki. Oh, Hosh Hoshizawa. There it is. Oh, there is the Happy Gogen. Does that make sense? Happy something. Happy hour by the Happy River. Okay. So we know we're, we're roughly in here somewhere. We haven't seen a tunnel yet. Head south, what do we see? A big mountain and out of town. If we go north, though, we're inside of and then a double bridge. That must be the Oppie River. Where do we have a bridge over it? Ah, the other one. Ah, so we actually started on E4, and then we... No, we started off on a small road, and then we made our way on to 282. Okay. I guess near one of the bridges, we were a little bit wrong, but we saved ourselves with 4,295 points. So let's see our summary. 1775. Uh, not very good at all, compared to we had 19-something in the last couple, but... Yeah, again, just a few, a little bit harder to pinpoint. Lots of mountain roads in Iwate. Uh, you have to travel quite a bit to find them. And even then, when you find the number, uh, which we were able to do almost every time, uh, really hard to exactly pinpoint where you are because, oh, there's multiple tunnels, there's multiple bridges, and so on. As we take a look at this game breakdown and the music picks up as we're done. And again, we have one bad round. <laughs> Seems to be a, a theme for this series of, of Tour in Japan, as we have one bad round, we just don't find anything. We couldn't find the road, we didn't have enough information as to where exactly. We knew we were near Morioka, but we didn't know how far Morioka was. I thought we were further away, so. We were close to the border. And so I should have guessed up here because it's a lot closer to the border than down here. I don't know if that's even true, now that I think about it. But, you know. Oh well, not bad, but now yeah, you definitely get a good look at Iwante Prefecture there. Uh, very mountainous, not easy to always figure out where you might be. Uh, so if you find yourself in some very mountainous roads uh, towards the north part of Japan, uh, Iwate may be your uh, good place to uh, put your marker down. I eventually figure out how to say it. Well, thank you all for watching. If you like this series, uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. Let's me know you want to see more of this. And uh, we're definitely going to do more of this. Don't worry. Uh, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.